there guys and today I'll be showing you how to make your own simple flash powder lantern. Not that I said simple, this isn't like the kind of stuff that photographers from the late 19th century would use. Uh, the ones I used back then were highly flammable, not to mention very dangerous. So I'm using a safer, more slow burning version. So let's begin. The materials you're going to need here is a tall jar. This is going to be like the, everything's going to be held together by this tall jar. Some aluminum foil, small canister to hold all the powder. You're going to need a sparkler. You're going to need a hammer, scissors, pliers. I'm using wire cutters because I can't find my pliers. A brush, a lighter. You can have a candle uh, if you want so you don't have to hold the lighter underneath. And I'm also going to be including some magnesium in it to make it brighter, but you don't have to do this. I just want to do this to add some more um, increased brightness. Okay, so first off, you're going to want to take the uh, lid from your jar. So you can use it to hold everything. Then you're going to want to take your sparkler of choice and pliers. And you're going to crush the sparkler into the lid like this. And once you've got it all in the lid, you can put these pliers in the stick away. And then take your hammer and then slowly crush all the powder. So try crushing up the powder into as fine a powder as you can, so that'll make it easier to ignite. So I'm going to set this aside, and remember I said how you can, it, it, this is optional, but you can take some magnesium and a blade and then shave some magnesium off and put it inside of your uh, powder. So you don't have to do this, it's not mandatory, but shave some magnesium and put it in here to make uh, a brighter effect. So to do that, I'm just gonna take this card, I'm gonna crease it in half here, so it'll be easier to put in the our little container. You don't wanna put this directly into your powder because sometimes this gives off sparks and that could set off your entire powder. So just slowly shave some magnesium off. Okay, so after shaving for a minute or two, I've got this small mound of uh, magnesium uh, shavings and I'm just going to put that inside of my uh, uh, this powder right here. So do that a few more times, but again, this is totally optional. You don't have to do this, but it just gives it a brighter effect. So then I'll just do that maybe two or three more times until I think I've got enough. Okay, so I added the magnesium in and so then after, once you've done that, take your little canister. I'm using a old film canister. So I don't want to pour this in directly because it's all going to spill out. So I'm going to take that card I creased in half. I'm going to pour some in right here, push it up a little bit and then just funnel it in and then just keep doing that okay then I'll close it up and then once you're done if you do the magnesium option where you add in magnesium just slowly turn it around so it mixes up there you have your flash powder and then um, at this point we're going to make our flash lantern okay so at this point you're just gonna get your scissors your tall jar and your aluminum foil just set the jar aside for now. So when you're when you're cutting the aluminum foil, you don't really need like a huge chunk. You just need about maybe like four by four, four by three inches. So I'll just maybe cut this amount. That's not an exact science. You just need something to hold the hold the powder in place while the heat is applied underneath it, about that big. And then before you put it in the jar, you're going to want to crease the front like so because this is where the powder is going to go, right here. That's where it's going to be held. So then take your jar, open the lid, place it right here, and then close the lid on top so it pinches the aluminum foil in place. Fix your aluminum foil so it's nice and straight. So you can put your powder in place like so. Should look something like this. You're going to put the powder right here in the aluminum and then the heat's going to be applied underneath and that will heat up the metal and the powder and then it will ignite and then you could take a picture. All right, so now taking it at a new angle, you're going to take your lantern and then you're going to get that powder you just made in your canister. So you're gonna take a small amount from your powder, maybe about that much. And then I'm going to put it right here in the middle, like so. And then I'm going to take my brush, just take the brush and then try flattening it out a little, make sure it's all evened out and make sure it's nice and even. And then there, you should have an amount that looks like that. So now that your lantern is all complete, all we need to do is set it up. If you add some magnesium shavings on the bottom of before you apply the powder, 
then it's going to make the entire uh, powder ignite much faster. All right, so then let's set this up. I'm going to set the camera up and then we're going to take a picture. Okay, so here's my test subject. It's this little toy dog. We'll call him Lewis for now. I have the lamp right here and I also have a candle so I don't have to manually light it, but then I realized I didn't make the aluminum foil long enough. So now the aluminum foil is too far from the candle. So I guess I'll just have to manually light it with a lighter. Since I only have one camera, I'll first show you the the reaction and then I'll take a, uh, take a picture after that with the same setup, I'll just add more mixture, but you won't see that since I only have one camera. I'm going to set the camera down and then show you the reaction. Okay, so I have the lantern set up right here. Turn off the lights. I'm gonna use this candle as my little nightlight because I can't see in this dark garage. I got my nightlight. So just walk over here and turn off the lights. So there's our lantern right there, as you can see, by candlelight. Now I'm going to blow the light out. And then I'm going to light the powder. Whoa. So as you can see, the powder has become something else. And the aluminum been weakened so much that I can break it by just crushing it. Okay, so now I have the camera pointed at a different perspective. It's going to be pointing uh, to our little friend here, Lewis. And I'm, I have the lamp right here next to the camera. And I'm going to show you how bright it is in perspective. Like, to just looking at something else other than directly at the lamp. So I'll turn off the lights again. Alright, so I'm going to blow the lights out and then light the uh, powder. Alright, I'm igniting now. So now I'm going to take a photograph, and then I'm going to show you how it looked like with a photograph. So after several shots, the one the one you just saw previously was my best shot. That was again just one scoop of this, and the shutter speed was 15 seconds to give me enough time to be able to ignite the stuff in the first place and the f-stop was actually not f 5.6 but actually f 11 and again this was just a novelty experiment it's not actually meant to actually be for photography but if you want to go ahead give it a try uh just use a light bulb and i hope you guys enjoyed i'm certain luis did and see you in the next video